Well, my backyard needed mowing, so I turned them in the backyard, and they just having a big time, enjoying it. They took two or three laps around the barn because they didn't know what to think of all this, but uh, once they got kind of settled, put their heads down. They've, uh, that's a line of grapes and muscadines. They've been in that a little bit, <clears throat> chewed on a little bit, but mainly grass. They have trimmed off some of the lower limbs of the peach trees, nectarine trees. But this is all virgin grass. I've just kept it mowed all summer and uh, starting to get a little long again. And I said, why in the world do I want to mow it? So, uh, anyway. They're just having a great time right now. I'm hoping they don't see those <laughs> red flowers right there. My wife might not be too happy about that. But so far, they hadn't been up here to see them. I suspect I'll come back in a little while and they'll be gone. <laughs> but maybe my wife won't notice. There's a few little red flowers right out there. It's right there. A couple of them. It looked like they have taken... In fact, it looked like they took the head off one of them, the flower and then just laid it on the ground didn't like it so and maybe that's a good sign maybe those <laughs> maybe those will live but you can see the one over there in that uh, nectarine tree trimming it <clears throat> one over there trimming the tree and uh, I rigged up a simple simple little system to keep them out of places where I don't want them and uh, I'll show you that in another video but I've got a, a pear tree over there that's dropping a lot of pears on the ground and I'm I'm afraid old Jack get in there and eat way too many of them and hurt himself. And uh, so I fenced that off real quickly with a hot wire. It took about 15 minutes. Uh, again, I'll probably do a video here in a little while and just up upload in a separate video. But I'm just, uh, boy, that's a neat sight. Look out in your backyard. I put a little water tub out there for them. And uh, they'll come in here and get, most of that is Bermuda out there. Uh, I've got some St. Augustine right here close to the house and then uh, a little centipede, I guess. And they, I don't know whether they like St. Augustine or not. I think they do. That's a southern grass, in case y'all don't know what that is. Beautiful, makes a beautiful lawn. Uh, <clears throat> but uh, I got, just a, I guess as a sheep update, I've got 16 right now. I've got uh, 10 grown ewes. I've got two twin ewes that I showed you in the very first Katahdin sheep video I did. They were uh, probably a month old. Well, they're almost seven months old now, and each one of them is being followed around by one of the rams, so I assume they're coming into heat right now, and that's about right. Seven months old, you want them to kind of lamb it a year, and it's a five-month gestation. So uh, that's, that's right on schedule. It's good. Uh, there's the ram I think I'm going to keep, the dark one. That's the one I showed you in the first video. That, uh, some fact, somebody asked me about an update on him. He's looking good. Uh, he's real meaty, uh, heavy, short, and stout. And uh, the other ram is the one right there, the white one. Uh, uh, tan and white right there. And he's kind of looking this way. He's got that little little ewe. He's falling around next to him there. That she's starting to kind of get wooled out a little bit. But um, he's following her, and then the other ram is following the one right to his right in that trio there. And uh, they're fighting over them and just having a big time. <laughs> That's what you're supposed to do, I think. So uh, as a, as an update, again, sixteen. Uh, Altogether, I've got 10 grown ewes, two twins, uh, or a set of twins. I'm a twin. I should know better than to say two twins. Uh, a set of twins. That is one of them. And then uh, one of those, the one in the middle of those three is the other one. And then I've got uh, two, uh, three rams. I've got one small ewe. That's that little white one right there. And then um, a uh, two 
larger rams, the big one that's been breeding everything, hopefully all summer. And he is probably going to go in the freezer. Now, if I kill it myself and process it myself, I'll do a video on that. And then uh, the other one that's uh, the first one right there at the grapevines. He, uh, he's probably the one I'm going to keep. He's, he's a lot more muscled. This one is longer, but he just doesn't seem to have the, the shoulders and the, the, the uh, backside, you know, the... the what I would call round steaks, sounds probably not what you call it, ham hocks, <laughs> lamb hocks, whatever. Uh, but he is longer. You can see he's quite a bit, he's taller and longer than that one there, the, the one right there. Right there. And uh, so anyway, he's, uh, he's probably one, that one's probably one to go in the freezer. That one we call a little bit. He was the first thing born here, born the day after we got him, and my wife ain't about to let me put him in the freezer, so. I'll keep him. I'll either sell him and, and or I'll keep him as a, a herd sire, and I believe that's probably what I'm going to do. I got one just about to pop. One, uh, let's see, of those three, it's the one on the right, right there. Boy, she is spread out, and uh, she's uh, her bags dropped. I don't know what you call it when you're a shepherd. When you're working with cows, you call it uh, she's springing or her bag dropped or whatever, or starting to bag up. And anyway, her milk's coming down some, so I look for her in the next, uh, I don't know, uh, probably two or three days uh, to uh, to lamb. Hopefully she'll have two. We'll see. And uh, and that's about right. right. A lot of people want to lamb in November and, um, and again uh, in the spring, uh, about March or April or something. So uh, to have her lambing now is a, is a good thing. Uh, I will probably keep that little, that first little white one right there. I'll probably keep her. She's a, uh, about two months old. I showed the birth of her in another video. You can go back and look at that. And she's coming along nicely, looking pretty. She's getting big and uh, just solid white. It makes four white ones. I got three big ones that are all white and then her. Her mother's right next to her, but her mother's got a kind of a dark, tail and dark uh, neck and then the rest of it's white but uh, now they're getting a little more interested in the looks like in the uh, the grapevines and I uh, starting to chew a little bit on the grapevine but I don't think it's going to hurt them they uh, they'll get in there and, but anyway I'm going to leave them here the rest, of the rest of the day let them back in maybe tomorrow and just let them clean this up fertilize it for me and uh, I see two more flowers on the ground. They pull the heads off of them and spit them out. So they don't like them. they don't like those red flowers. Uh, just a little sheep update. Um, and again, just uh, probably here in the next day or two, I'll show you the little wire setup and how easy it is to set up. I mean, just golly, it took 20 minutes to, to keep them out of my garden, keep them out of the place where I didn't want them. So. Uh, I believe that's about it. I'm all we're gone, I guess. Little sheep update.